we're gonna take this and we're gonna turn it into this. Come on, let's check it out. All right guys, we finally got it in, the 3D printer. I'm excited, let's unbox this thing. All right, now that you have your printer assembled and turned on, you're going to want to find your user guide. Now, this user guide is going to be able to walk you through exactly what you need to do to be prepared to get started, if you've never done this before. Um, we are going to reference the sites and where you need to be, but ultimately, follow the instructions. It is literally plug and play. The first thing that you'll want to do is go to this site, setup.makergear.com. Here, it's uh, going to walk you through three different videos on how you can use um, and set up your Maker Gear device. First off, there's a couple things to keep in mind is you're gonna want to use Google Chrome or one of these supported um, sites it does make a difference when going through this. The other thing that you're going to want is you're gonna want your device's serial number and you're gonna to wanna to place that here. Now what that does while getting into your device's um, internal Wi-Fi, um, you're gonna need that so you can find the network name, what your device's network name is and what the password is for that. So this way you can connect that to your local network uh, and get that hooked up to your Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, you're going to click on this link here and it's literally going to take you to this site. Now, it is going to require you to log in and the nice thing about this is here's your username and password. Uh, so you can actually just go ahead and get logged into that site and get squared away. Now, if you ever get lost in any of this, all you have to do is reference one of the three videos uh, that it has set up already in advance. I'm not, I'm not gonna be smarter than those. My advice to you is just watch the videos and follow along. Very easy to set up. And then uh, once you're all squared away and have your printer uh, ready to go, it's on your network, 
you can actually go in and you want to do a quick check before you print anything on your device your 3d printer is humming it's ready to work but here you want to do a couple quick checks so have you completed the setup process yes that's what I just told you to do follow those videos uh, and it will get you set up um, have you replaced installed or removed the hot end no uh, proceed to quick check so what this is going to do and we're going to start the automated uh, collaboration test um, so you can actually hear the 3d printer starting now what that's going to do is detect the probe verify the probe location check probe offset and check the bed level all of that is important to do before you get started with any prints now this process only takes a couple minutes uh, to do you can actually probably see it working behind me um, we'll turn this here so you can actually get a look at it and it's going through that validation process to ensure that everything is ready for your very first print now we're already through the very first three checks the next thing it will do is um, it will verify that bed leveling so it's going to each one of the corners into the ends um, and using that probe to make sure that everything is set to go next step is um, is we want to practice printing and over here on the left hand side you'll actually see um, some preloaded demos okay now the STL files are files that you can actually bring into uh, another type of uh, software uh, to kind of carve those things up we're actually going to go to the PLA and this is the one that I printed, which was the torture test uh, print. And here in a little bit, you'll be able to see what that, that looked like. Not only did it have um, kind of cone shapes, it had different protruding. Uh, it actually had some sunk in and then uh, some missing pieces on there as well. Uh, and you could actually see the definition in which this, pr uh, this printer can actually do. I was pretty impressed with that. Now, if you wanted to print something, literally all you would have to do is come in here and click this load and print button, and this thing is off to the races. All right guys, so that's the setup of the M3 SE Maker Gear 3D printer. I felt like the overall setup and assembly of this printer was very easy and would be easy for beginners. Not only did I appreciate and really enjoy the demo that it gave me to see what this printer is truly capable of, but I'm excited about what things I can print in the future. If you have a suggestion on something that I should print on this 3D printer, put it in the comments below. I'll be excited to print those things. And I'm pretty excited to see what I can do on this 3D printer in the future. If you like this content, go ahead and like and subscribe and follow me for future videos. We'll see you guys soon.